What's up everybody? DFP here with an unboxing of the Nintendo Switch. Uh, before we get started, let's just take a quick look at the packaging. Here's the front. You can see that it shows the uh, black and gray version. The back side you have more illustration just of uh, the Joy-Cons being removed there. Some other pictures here on the side. Various pictures of the dock, the grip, the unit in the portable mode, Joy-Cons being separated. More of the grip here. Alright, so let's uh, open this bad boy up. So we can see here there are some instructions for how to set it up. Put it right on the box there. It's a little different. Nintendo has this nice kind of um, tray design here for the box. Where we can see like they have this um, cardboard piece with the with the cutouts. So this way the, the system actually just sits in there real nicely. Why don't we pull this out here, we'll get back to that in a second. Okay, underneath the top shelf we have a few things here. Our standard junk nobody reads. HDMI cord. Power adapter, as you can see there. Appears to be the uh, little extender piece that goes on top of the Joy-Con. Here we have the grip. There's the other extension piece there. This should be the dock. And that it is. Dock is a little smaller than I anticipated it being. As you can see the Nintendo logo over here, Switch logo on the other side. We have a couple of uh, USB ports here. This back door should open. And you see the uh, AC adapter plugs in over here. We have another USB port here, and then the HDMI out connection there. So that's the dock. All right, taking another look back at the system here. Here is the actual console itself. I'm gonna take that out of the packaging. I gotta say the um, the plastic feels a lot sturdier than previous Nintendo things, at least the last couple of consoles. You can see the kickstand here has a little bit more of a different finish than the rest of the back there. Uh, you lift it, lift it up here. You can see it has a slight curve. SD card goes there. Got the Switch logo on the back there. Looks pretty. I mean, it looks it looks sleek. Okay, so we got our joy cons here. There. They're a bit small, um, but not unreasonably so. I was starting to get a little bit nervous as I had heard some of the feedback rolling in that they were incredibly small. Let's go ahead and see how they slide into the grip here. Should be able just to load that in there like that. 
All right, let's listen for that, the mechanical click sound, not the digital click sound. Even that's pretty satisfying. So in the grip, it doesn't feel awful. It uh, doesn't feel great. The buttons are a little small. Um, just this kind of has a wide feel to it. I think I would prefer if this stick here on the right was over a little bit more. Obviously, that can't be the case, but um, I'm sure that this middle portion was designed uh, with enough space to keep the internal components. Let's see an IR blaster over here. We got our uh, X, Y, B, A buttons, some directional controls there. Let's see a home button here, plus minus. We have our R, L, uh, Z, L, and Z, R here. So you can get that focus there for you. There you go. Buttons have a uh, decent springiness to them. Uh, not fantastic, but not bad. Uh, the sticks don't move a whole lot. They feel a little short. Um, not short in range, not so much short as in height off the controller. Like It doesn't seem like it moves as much as I'm accustomed to. So let's actually pull these back off. Maybe this button. There we go. So we're going to pull this back off. And let's see if we can't get this on the console here. power button. Let's see if we can get that in focus here. So we got a power button here. And we have a volume down and up. Let's see if we can turn this thing on here. There we go. We have the, uh, the boot screen there. You can see it looks like the cartridges go right here. If we can get a good shot of that. And let's see, pull this off. Just to hear that. Oh look, we got a light on. Synced already. Hmm, no sound. Okay. And let's try put one of these on there, just to see how that goes. Let's see, plus plus, minus minus. So, I mean, this is doable. Um, it definitely feels like it'd be something more for like a novelty game than it would be for anything like normal type of gaming, the the stick being this far centered, at least on this Joy-Con, feels a little weird, um, but again, it's manageable if you had to. I gotta tell you, it it feels pretty good in the hand. The uh, construction feels sturdy. The quality of the plastic feels good. Um, I think it has a good width to it. Let's see. Definitely not bad. Um, we'll get a little bit of, we'll take some getting used to, I think, for a couple of things. You know, the, the sticks feel a little um, different than I'm accustomed to. As I mentioned before, the buttons are a little small. Decent springiness to the buttons on top, the shoulders. Uh, but, yeah, all in all, there we go. So that is the Nintendo Switch. All right, as always... Like, comment, or subscribe, and DFB out.